the best category since you get to do Piranha Parade. This is a very valid point. Oh yeah, the coin grinded. See, the problem with 100% is the standees. Um, there are the like standee whatever thingies that you technically have to buy all of to 100% the game. I have never jumped over that before. What is going on? Ah! Oh, it's fine. Oh God, it's so not fine. And the movement's gone. What am I doing? What am I doing? All right. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Swat. Use that big, beautiful trunk. Boing. Oh, that was unfortunately again a run ender. No. Is there another? I don't think there's another elephant. Man, all right, we gotta practice this level two. Apparently, World One is just killing us today. Oh wow, not meant to be. How do I want to get that? Let's actually figure this out. Cause I had a strat for this, and I've completely forgotten. It. I think what I would do is like that. That's what I do. That's it. Like this. Oh, uh, not like that. I want to bounce on that last guy though. And big bounce there. See, I keep accidentally missing one of these, and I need to uh, need to not do that. Let's see if I can figure this out. Something interesting about speedrunning is it's um, pretty common where like you'll have a strat that you're doing, and like I don't know, it's kind of just what you, you you the first time you do it, you get it, and you're like, oh, that strat's fine, but then you'll start messing it up for like weird reasons. Um, because there's like there's something you're doing that you're not really aware of like you were just kind of doing it automatically But you didn't really know what you were doing and that's what happened to me with this Like I'm messing it up now for like different reasons than when I was first doing it Because there's something about it that I don't understand Oh <sighs> But we shall figure it out. That's harder and I don't want to do it that way. I think it works, but it's not good. side bounce. I think I'm pulling the parachute out too late and that's the problem. Let me try to come up with a nice visual for when I should pull out the parachute. I think that'll solve our problems there. Uh, do you have any favorite levels in this game? Yes. A lot of the palaces I think are really cool to do very well. I also think the palace music is epic. I'm a big fan of the palaces. Uh, no, we decided to speed run the game and we'll satisfy the hardcore challenge. There it is. All right, we'll satisfy the hardcore challenge when we uh, do a speed run without dying. All right, one more time for consistency. A 
that part's not completely consistent, but I don't really care if I slow down for two seconds right there. Yeah. Not consistent. <laughs> Let's see if we can do everything consistently. There we go. I like that. It's a little tight there, but it makes the next part a lot easier, so I think it's worth it. And then here we want to bounce. There we go. That's what we want to do there. And then this part, we go up here. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Alright, that was all exactly what we want to do. Ah! And then I split. But let's try this. This is the main important thing. Yeah, there we go. I have to pull out the parachute cap earlier than I was. Alright. I think we can do that. I think we should be able to do the thing. Uh, let's... Carla, are we taking Jess's advice and doing better today? Well, we're doing some much needed practice at any rate. Sometimes when you mess up something, it feels like you're not making progress, but the reality is, is that there's just something that you that you didn't know that you needed to, to work on. And apparently that was world one today. We needed to work on world one. Also my standards have gotten higher, but I also keep getting hit like in areas where you like really can't get hit because um, there are a couple times when you lose a power up and basically the only way to get the power up back is to completely replay an entire level oh chambo hello how's it going chambo um chambo were you doing uh were you doing grand pool world i know a lot of people are playing grand pool world because of um the impending release of Grand Pool World 3, which is going to be so much fun. Also, <laughs> also look at this shit from Barb. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh, this is, this is like, this is Poot. This is uh, Barb talking about Grand Pool World 3. <laughs> I was like, yeah, he was like, are you going to play Grand Pool World 3? I was like, yeah, I'll play it. He's like, excited for you to quit that one too. Uh, barbed. I have that on my desktop saved as Barb Toxic, and I'm gonna just run. Whenever I beat Grand Pool World Three, <laughs> whenever I beat Grand Pool World Three, I'm just gonna like raid Barb with that message. Oh god, it's gonna be good. No, oh Barb's actually a Barb's actually a super awesome, nice guy. He just uh oh. He likes to be a little toxic sometimes. <laughs> Grandpa run in the melon game. Is that that Suica game thing? I've seen uh, so many people playing that. <laughs> but yeah, I quit Grandpa World 2 9. That's where that came from. <laughs> okay, um, I am going to refill my water, use the restroom so I don't have to pee during the run because that happened last time and that wasn't good. And then we'll go, we go again. It's so much fun. Uh, we're doing it because it's nice and cozy. Ooh, that sounds really nice, Chambo. Cozy games are good. It is very hot right now. I guess you can get it on your Switch, right?
let's do it. Good old Barl. <laughs> I think I um, hadn't eaten enough today either. I've been like trying to actually cook all my own food. Be healthy boy. Uh, Suka game is great. It's only two ninety nine on the Switch. All right, Chambo, have a wonderful rest of your evening. If anybody out there isn't uh, isn't following Chambo underscore, he's a wonderful dude. You should check him out. All right, let's, as the Mario say, a go. Did we change the language already? I can't even remember. I think we did. Okie dokie. All right, this is our last reset. We're not resetting again after this, no matter what. He lied. <laughs> this is French Canadian. Okie dokie panic. You gotta beat, why are you stealing from Bruins before Viarica one dies? Eloquent, that would actually be awesome. I wonder if I can somehow get the level still. I would do a Mario Maker 1 stream for... <laughs> for why are you stealing from Ruins? I mean, I already beat the level, what are you talking about? Well, oh, what did I do? I did something weird there. You put the wowie in my zowie. We oui, we oui, poutine. All right, poutine is amazing though. There's a place here that uh, oh, you can tell I'm getting hungry. There's a place here that uh, literally deep fries their cheese curds. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> uh. Poutine. Oh, it's so good. No, hi, Rex. Go back and play all the best Mermaid Girl levels. Better than mozzarella sticks. Deep fried cheese curds. Aren't all cheese curds deep fried? Actually, I don't know. What is more common? Any any Canadians in the chat? What is the cheese like in real Canadian poutine? Not try. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Yo, game code. Thank you for eight months. I'm still not over the fact that the piranhas are just running around in this game, by the way. Somebody who's played a lot of Mario in my time. Still weirds me out, but like in the in the good kind of weird. How about the foot long deep fried cheese curd in Milwaukee? What the heck? <laughs> Isn't a deep fried cheese curd just a Cheeto? Don't think so. I know Shadow Kitty, but if we get a PB or honestly, no matter what happens, when we end the stream, we'll end the stream with the Piranha Parade. Don't worry, we'll still have it, even if it's not in the run. They're preparing for a rebellion next game. It would actually be sick. Oh wait, I'm not. Uh oh, hold on. I gotta actually play the game. Gotta play the game. Give me that ten coin. Good. We've acquired the shell. Oh, I've never been hit by that before. I didn't even know that was an option. I didn't even. All right. I promised that that was the last reset. Yeah. But I lied. 
Uh, uno mas. <laughs> you promised 20 resets ago. Uh, what is the actual accurate attempt counter, I wonder? It's probably like 15 or something. We're just farming attempt counter to make it, to make it look like I've put more work into this. Starting to have trust issues. This is the real, actual, final reset version seven. <laughs> we know the attempt counter works. The poll should be, will we make it to world two? All right, we're getting rid of this poll. We're getting rid of this. We're refunding that one. Is this the run that makes it out of world one? <laughs> that's the that's the new real prediction. Final final four. We're gonna be so good at world one after this though. Like that's the real That's the real strat though. Like this is this is still needed practice. I think you need to get a backup elephant somewhere. Um, I think like for now that would be a good idea actually boss guy because I think I could just snag a backup elephant at the start of um, What is it level three? Oh, I didn't don't start the splits yet You're not wrong Wait, I'm still not There we go Yeah, you're not wrong snagging a backup elephant somewhere fast would make sense because I'm. I need to practice the rest of the game too, you know, not just the beginning. Alternatively, we get to the point where we're always, <laughs> we're always nailing it, and it won't be an issue. Uh, CMM, thank you. Appreciate it. Welcome. Yahoo. Um, Baby K, thank you for the sub too. Uh, and for the Terraria support. Sorry I missed you earlier. It's greatly appreciated. I don't know why I didn't get a... Oh man. I have to waste just a second saving that. If you're too close to the ground, you won't ground it. Is that what happened? I got confused as why the ground pad doesn't come out sometimes. Else, we figured out water in trunk skip. Uh, Jubal, welcome. Why not grab that second elephant you just passed? So the problem with um, speed running is I often tunnel vision. Like I play the the goal is to learn how to play the game basically the exact same way every time. So I don't even know where the other elephants are. <laughs> uh, oh. There's a good one in Skedaddler. All right. Maybe we'll do that just for the sake of... Uh, I think we've reset enough for the day. Uh, can't you start select? You don't need to finish the level. Yeah, restarting the whole level feels a lot worse than just grabbing a backup, though. Like, if we lose... If we restart a whole level, it's pretty bad. But that's what I do later on. I just didn't want to do that in World 1. Thank you. Your tunnel vision is not exclusive to speedrunning. You know what? You're right. <laughs> you can't start selecting this game. Yeah, but you can just restart and you'll get the pirate back. I don't know if that's what they meant. Thank you. 
It's kind of weird. Like you can't get an extra power up and then start select to keep it, but you can just restart the level to not have lost it in the first place. All right. There's our backup elephant. Oh, there's one right there too. A little bit slow right there. Not sure if that's bad or not. That might be bad. We need to just throw that. All right, I think that's okay. Yeah, that was fine. It's good to know that that still kind of works. Run lives. Let's go. Uh, Scrub, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. And thanks again for everybody who's uh, thrown some support for Terraria. Thank you. We will be uh, we'll be editing that for the YouTubes. Right. Speaking of which, if anybody doesn't know, we got lots of YouTube stuffs. Uh, exclamation YT will get it. We did a full, like, first playthrough of Minecraft on hardcore mode. It was freaking epic. It was so epic. It's the first time I'd ever played Minecraft, and I beat the game on hardcore. Same thing with Terraria. First time ever playing the game. And we beat it on hardcore. Took a long time. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing Infernum now. And we're going to bring Infernum back. I just want to get a... I want to, like, be satisfied um, with this speedrun. Or be, or be angry enough at it, and then we'll go back to uh, the Minecraft death compilation is comedy gold. I gotta add ter uh, Terraria to that other game's channel description. First try late hard mode steamroll was great. It was so, like, it was getting so bad. We died and lost like 20 hours of progress once. <laughs> it felt so bad. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy we actually finished the game. Whether or not you, you'll be done with the speedrun, whether or not you are finished is yet to be seen. Uh, that one hardcore death where you like saved, ha ha ha, and then opened the block and instantly still died cracks you up. Wait, which one was that? You're like, and then opened the block? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, I know which one you mean. I know what you mean. Um, yeah, yeah, you're. I know what you mean, boss guy. The Minecraft one from the beginning. Oh, wait. The dead man's chest was amazing, too. The dead man's chest was amazing, too. The trident death. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's it, boss guy. Thing. Yeah, that's an amazing clip. If you haven't seen that roller coaster promotions clip, that clip is fucking gold. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I need another game that will, like, be that fun. I don't know what else to do that's, like... Because Minecraft is so special to... I don't know, it's, like, so special to so many people, and I literally never played it. So I think it made it, like, a... It was like finding this weird hidden gem. Like, how didn't I know about it? How had I never played Minecraft? All right, can we do this? Uh, good enough. I might miss this coin right here. Oh, we actually got it. Let's go. All right, focus. Miss that. That's okay. This is the part that matters, though, coming up. So. Like that. Snag our coin. Right side bounce. There we go. There we go. There we go. Gaming. Doing the gaming. Let's go. The most insane clip was summoning the wall of flesh by accidentally killing a slime and the voodoo devil on- Yeah, it like fell into the lava produced by the slime. Bye -bye. 
That was ridiculous. I didn't understand how that actually happened until later. And then like when I fully processed it, I was like, wait, that's messed up. <laughs> Let's -a go. Oh. I have ideas for how to get that one on the left faster. I'm gonna have to actually practice it. There's a little bit of gaming going on. Only a little though. <laughs> But yeah, we'll probably just continue this run no matter what. I think it's important to practice some of the later stuff too. We'll eventually nail the beginning of the run, but it doesn't have to be right now. Ross, thank you so much for the 15 months. One month already. <laughs> thank you for the 15. Casually platforming on voodoo demons where you dropped a voodoo doll a half. Oh, I need to get the... Imagine paying attention to what I'm doing in the speed game. All right, I kind of love the Poplin voice though. They're cute. All right, so we have exactly 10 Wonder Seeds, which is what we need to open the Wiggler race. And if everything goes according to plan here. Oh, this will actually, that'll give me a purple coin, which is cool. All right. I think that's good. I uh, could have cut it even closer, actually, but that's okay. All right, let's remember the strat here. We want to go up top. Not just here, too. So this gets us some purple coins going up here, which is nice. Oh, that was actually a good run on that slope. But then, right on this part, we want to go up top too. Here. I'll take it. I will take it. Yeah, sub, sub 55 is fine. That was good. I did it. Maybe we're actually getting out of world one. Though I have to change my strat on this, on Bull Rush. I should have probably, uh, I should have probably booped. Yeah, the Wiggler rubber band's super hard. I just changed my badge. It's fine. So you can actually change your badge back without losing any time. Oh, hi, Wizzy Liz. All right, we're gonna jump over some of the stuff in the final phase here. As much as I like messing around with the elephant. Wait, I didn't do it. <laughs> I ducked. I forgot where it was and I just ducked, but luckily it worked. Okay, now I can stand more towards the right side here. All right, this is fine. We don't need to get that Wonder Seed because we're already gonna have too many since I'm doing the jet run route. We wanna pump the parachute cat there because it loses less time and then ideally also jump over that slope, but I'll take it. We're getting out of world one. Are there any cool non-glitch skips slash exploits yet? Ah, uh, there's a ton of really cool skips that don't involve using any glitches. So there's a glitch that skips like the first three worlds, but for non-glitch skips, um, hopefully I'll, um, 
Oh, there's a bunch with the bubble. If you haven't seen the bubble power up before, you're in for a treat. <laughs> I don't even think it's an exploit necessarily, though. I really feels like it was intended. However, there are some unintended... Well, I would say, like, maybe they thought it might be possible and didn't care. I don't know. But there are some really cool skips. Like, there's one in the level countdown that we're not doing. But it's... We got it on stream yesterday. I don't know if there's a clip of it anywhere. But it's pretty, pretty hard. I love the way this map looks. It's so cool looking. Spadoing. I wonder if we could do anything with that shell. Like send it along here. And maybe you could do that without losing time. Well, it's a good thing we got our backup on it. In the quiz, they ask which power up you can bubble jump. Interesting. Um, Glock, to any plans finish below zero? No, just, uh, I would just recommend watching the very end of it. Oh, yeah. I think my reaction time is just a little slow today. I didn't sleep super well last night. I think that's probably it. I don't know. Don't know. I just feel a little sluggish. Still okay. This level is really cool when done well, I think. Not this shit again. <laughs> no. Uh. Alas. Was not done well. I always have been a fan of vertical levels as well. Um, I should probably add a description of all royal seeds. Basically, people discovered some game-breaking glitches that skip a lot of the game. Um, so all royal seeds is just another way of saying glitchless for now. Not skipping any of the palaces. So we have a couple of time saves in this level. And by the way, for anybody new to this, this is where we get a badge called Jet Run that is going to completely change how we play the rest of the game in hopefully some pretty cool ways. You can see we can, we can schmoove with it. And we're gonna try to skip that checkpoint. Good. And then we're gonna skip that mushroom right there. All right, good. Oh, I'm gonna hit box that. Oh, I barely made it, let's go. Okay, cool. Saves just like 1.5 seconds to do that. Uh, we skipped the checkpoint because the checkpoint freezes the game to give you the power up. And so if you if you don't do that, it saves time. Um, Damien Black asks, has it been decided that Jet Run is the way? Absolutely not. Um, my own personal timing suggests that it might be like five or 10 seconds faster which is hardly anything. Um, so you can play the game with or without it and it barely changes the amount of time that you spend, which I think is really cool. Because basically if people like it, they can do it. And if they don't like it, they don't have to. Um, this level is awesome if we do it well with Jet Run. So we're gonna change our bad to Jet Run. Yeah, it takes two and a half minutes to get and saves about two and a half minutes, which is frankly like... <laughs> Really crazy coincidence. All right, let's see what we can do here. Really good start. Really good. Now we're fucking gaming. And it's gone. Oh no, I tried to bail. I tried, of course I spoke. Of course I spoke. Of course, I spoke. Dude, Zimbo, this run is like a massive mess of like the hottest strats you'll ever see, and then just absolute spaghetti. 
stopped. <laughs> oh, this boss fight's awesome, though. So... We can do very silly things with this boss fight. <laughs> I love it so much. The run with the badge with the swaggiest. That's why I chose it. All right, we gotta do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, swat. There we go. That was a good hit. <laughs> Look at this. It looks so funny. All right, and then we let him come over here, jump over him, jump back. And we're ready to ground pound. And then once No what? Oh no! No! It's bonking! Man. Alright, well. Oh, I need more practice. Quick reset for the scam. The chamber. Oh, you can't make that without doing a running jump. That's interesting. Incredibly still faster than RPB. But, um... Yeah, this, this run has a lot of really cool levels in it. I like it a lot. We need a prediction for World 2. We made it out of World 1 though. That's what matters. Let's see, what's a good prediction for World 2? Will we be more than 10 seconds ahead after World 2? Oh, I got a spam. There we go. Let's see, so, um, we lost our power up. We're gonna get a mushroom back at the start of the next level, which is good. What else? I don't, I'm not gonna get an elephant back, so I think we'll just get a mushroom and then we'll get bubble power up. Because of that, we'll use dolphin kick in rubber cove. I like to use the elephant for a strat there, but it doesn't really save much time. It's just kind of cool. Um, but from now on, we're not going to reset at all, unless it's impossible to PB, in which case I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> uh, um, but we will no longer reset the run, no matter what happens. In two minutes of this split, we're Carl going to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're not wrong. We literally had to go to the bathroom last run. <laughs> yeah, that's why it's called PB, P break. See you in two hours. At the very least, we're gonna get a nice piranha parade to end the stream, but hey, hopefully we can get a hot PB. All right, so time for some dolphin kick. I'm switching to sort of rhythmically tapping this rather than spamming it. And it's definitely better, but I also need to learn a little, <clears throat> I need to like get the timing down. Yeah, I was a little off for a second there, but it's okay. You can kind of tell how well you're doing, whether you beat this guy there or not. If you go, if you do really well, then you basically beat that guy there, which isn't good, because <laughs> you need to get the coins. You want to keep moving in straight lines, but the switch 
Pro Controller D-pad sucks, so... Sounded like the dude just said, get fucked. <laughs> Seems similar to Super Mario 64 swim timing. Yeah, you kind of want to do it rhythmically. I heard it too. Yeah, I heard it too. <laughs> I wonder, does anyone know like what was the French there? Uh, presumably the French was not. Oh, California. Uh, we're just so we're just gonna stick with dolphin kick. Oh yeah, I should jump out of the water. You go faster, actually. Get this, just so we don't lose the run like a dummy. It's so weird not having jet run. Oh, I should have broken all those. Since I don't have the elephant, actually, I can't even go there, can I? Wait, what am I gonna do without the elephant? Let's wait here. I guess I, I guess I can't go that way anyway because I don't have the elephant. Oh no. Uh, uh oh. This might be bad. <laughs> we can't die to this. All right. Slightly problematic without our elephant. Let's just get out of here. Just make it out alive. Just gotta make it out alive. I did practice it with Jet Run, but I need the elephant for that to work out right. Yeah. I also need to learn exactly when to cancel my jump right there. It would definitely help to do that. Oh, what a spaghetti monster. Thank you. So, luckily there are three power-ups in the next level of Bluebird. And we're gonna buy another seed here that we're gonna use. Um, we're gonna need lots of seeds in Petal Islands like for the rest of the game. Do a little double take whenever anyone talks about the Jet Run badge. <laughs> uh. So normally I would want Bubble right here, which would allow me to do a faster strat right here, but alas, we got hit too many times. Oh no. Oh, I don't want to get hit. We can get our backup bubble here. And then we can get another bubble right there from our wonderful Ouija block. Oops. This is a section that I actually, I, I need to do some like focus practice someday of, because you can gain a whole bunch of time randomly here by going through it super fast and not actually bouncing on those bubbles until you absolutely need to by doing stuff like this. And then you can actually get that right at the top right there. 72 is a good time, that was a good time. That was at least better than I usually do. All right, we got a bubble and a backup bubble. Let's go. Do those birds shoot paper or plastic straws? <laughs> I like that you can move slightly when ground pound. Yeah, that one was in Mario Maker. It's a nice mechanic. The only mechanic that I really wish was in this game that isn't, and I totally understand why it's not, is triple jump. The triple jump was just really fun. But because they have so many badges that give you extra height, I'm assuming that's why they don't. La la la. <laughs> ah. 
All right, World 2 has some really epic stages, in my opinion, with Jet Run. The whole game has epic stages with Jet Run. That's why I like the badge so much. Do you run faster on set paths holding the run button, I wonder? I wish they did a Reznor boss fight in a big arena. That'd be great, William. S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. I did it. I did it. All right, so this is the first area where the routing of the game, I think, became really interesting because there's a lot of levels to choose from here. And we are going to do a level called Pokepeed Pass. Um, I do want to pick up the extra 10 coin here if I can, but it's a little bit... <laughs> I don't have it down completely. Let's just say that. All right, so we want to do a bounce off of this and a bubble jump up here to get that without slowing down. And then I want to time my jump so I land on that purple right there. And then I also want to snag that purple. So here's where it's going to get a little bit interesting. Oh no, I need to wait a sec. Damn it, I didn't quite do it right. It might still work, but yeah, we want to bounce on this dude. And all the while, we couldn't get this area anyway because we were waiting for that guy. Didn't do it perfectly, but there's a chance. Oh, there is. No! <laughs> what did I, I just had the duck. I just had the duck. I was fine, and I just had the duck. Man, that's a good thing we had our backup level. Trolling myself, man. We were fine. I just need to get a little better at that strat still. Cool, looks sick. Jet Run might actually be the meta. It's not. Most people don't like it. It takes 2 minutes and 30 seconds to get. I think that... Um, I think that there's a good probability that it will be the fastest route, but only by like 5 or 10 seconds, maybe 15 seconds. So it's like not... It's not like a huge thing. This level is actually pretty slick, but it's really hard to... Um, there's like some hidden blocks you have to hit at the start. It's really hard to do it optimally because one of the downsides of Jet Run is you can't stop running. Ugh. So for these blocks right here... Oh, that was it. There we go. That was good. That was really hot. Now we just want to get in and out right here. I missed the block. The hot is gone. I wanted to run off of that block, but I missed it. Oh my god, that Luigi block sucks. Holy crap, that Luigi block sucks. All right, we're going to shoot a bubble to turn around fast. If you're still watching, Zimbo, this is 1.3 seconds faster to go that way. And we missed this. Let's go. Let's uh, go. Yippee. Spring feet badge speedrun. Okay, hear me out. I think a like random badge speedrun would be hilarious. Because <laughs> uh, there's a randomized button. There's a button called Prince's Choice, which I don't know if it's actually random, but it feels random. And Viz badge speedrun would be awesome too, yeah. I think there's a lot of potential for cool badges. All right, so this level's on a cycle and is very hard. Let's see what we can do here. We grab this guy, toss the shell down there. It's gonna get a coin off screen for us. Bubble this dude. Oh, I jumped a little too late. I think it will still make the cycle that I Nope, we're not gonna make the cycle, damn it. Oh, not gonna make the cycle. So it doesn't really matter if I go slow the second, like, the second time I went slow, it didn't matter, because see, this would have been in our way. So we had to wait for it anyway. Alas. Bounce on that. Burbs. It's burb time. We're gonna pause right there, which sets the cycle right here, and then that guy goes all the way through. And this is a tough spot that I still need a better scrap for. There we go, I got it. That was good. Good end, good clean ending otherwise. Your dad just sent you a video that described kangaroos as vertical gears. 
I love it. Bye bye. Was a Yoshi route ever considered? Dr. Snap, I would like to see a complete Yoshi playthrough, if that makes sense. Like, Yippee. not just using Yoshi here or there, but using Yoshi on every level, I think would be a really cool run. I need to shopple in at the Poplin. For anybody not familiar with this speedrun, this is, I think, one of the, like, the coolest looking levels if you, like, don't know anything about bubble jumping. It's pretty tricky, though. The way I'm gonna do it, let's see what we can do here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. Uh oh. I think we're dead. Oh, man. Oh, I should have. Oh, okay. You can just restart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh god, I like jumped over it. What happened? So, because of that, what are my options here? I think I just have to wait, sadly. Because it's the cycle would be wrong for everything else. We're just behind a cycle. Oh well. Wow. But the bubble power up completely changes the speed run. It makes it really cool because jet run gives you really good horizontal movement and the bubble gives you really good vertical movement. So together they're like the perfect combo. But the downside is that if you ever lose the bubble power up, speed run is basically dead. Uh, hi, x -Band. Welcome. Yeah, it's like a more balanced cape. Are bubble jumps as consistent without Jet Run? You'll have to ask somebody who plays without Jet Run more, but with Jet Run, they're very consistent. I think they're consistent no matter what. That backup, random backup elephant right there, though. Uh, duck under there. Double bubble. I should have done a bubble jump right there. It would have made this a little easier. That's okay, though. All right, we're gonna shoot a bubble, grab the shell, and then we're gonna use this shell, whoopsies, right there. Oh, make sure we don't hit that. Almost cut my jump too late, so I just bailed. That was a pretty good level. Fast dash flow jumps were kind of tricky because your speed is a constant. I know, the bubbling something in front of you looks scary, and it's like totally not, it's super safe. So the way that the bubble works is it shoots faster, the faster you're moving. Um, and that makes it so like if you shoot bubbles while you're still accelerating, they don't always go where you want them to go. This speedrun looks smooth and fun. It is. It's lots of fun. How do you rate this game compared to previous 2D Mario titles? This is my favorite Mario game since, like, Super Mario World. <laughs> 3D World was good. I have to say, 3D World was good. I don't know if you count that one as... This is how you count that one, but... Uh, as far as, like, the strictly 2D ones... This is my favorite in forever. So something about the jet run power up. Um, if anybody's new to watching jet run, you can't stop running with it. So that actually makes this level kind of hard. <laughs> Since I uh, really don't want to lose my bubble. Don't want to get hit. There's also some cool speed tech in this level. Surprisingly, even though it's not a scroller. purple coin up here and I get the fire flower yeah that would make some sense because I don't need the bubbles here if there's another one I'll switch 
Uh, switching badges actually doesn't take time. Jet Run is the fastest way to play this one, interestingly enough. So we're gonna snag this purple coin here, and then we want to grab this guy, jump under this. Oh, I didn't quite get it. Damn it. It's possible to kick it down here and, uh... Oh, man. All right. Well, I'm not sure this is worth going for anymore. Yeah. It saves a little bit of time to go into that pipe. Because when you come out the other side of the pipe, you're basically coming out right here. But you have to hit it early to make it worth it. I mean, it probably still would have been worth it, but only barely. Sadly, we missed it. Oh, that actually hits them? Interesting. I figured if I were jumping on it, it wouldn't. So this, um, this Wonder Flower actually is, there's actually like a lot of useful things you can do right here. Um, for instance, by breaking these, you can get uh, purple coins, uh, which is very much useful to do. It's only the top one here. Oh man, I think I just missed it. Yeah. It's only the top one there that gives you purple coins, so that's... Oh, good thing I switched. <laughs> that's why I wanted to focus on that one. These guys also have purple coins. Useful to snag. Is that gonna blow up that one? I mean, there's a chance I get hit, but I need bubble, so I need bubble soon anyway. Oh my gosh, if I had gotten hit by that. I don't know if those fire when you're standing in front of them. In some Mario games they do, in other Mario games they don't, I think. So the reason Jet Run is good is in this section right here. You can save time. Oh. By using jet run. I thought these mini bosses were cool. Like, it's just a throwback to old hitting the axe and like SMB1 Bowser. I know they're cool. Now, for my least favorite level of World 2. Remind you of Super Mario RPG Smithy stuff. Here we go. All right, this level does have one strat that I th that I really like. I'll see if we can get it. It's a very small time save, but it's a nice one anyway. All right, we wanna. There we go. Saved just a touch of time right there, and then lost it right there. It's great. Oh, you can get a backup bubble here. I probably shouldn't have done this. I probably shouldn't have taken the time to do that, but whatever. I was thinking maybe the Lakitu would spawn in sooner if I did that, but that was not the case. So this guy is super annoying. It was good. We, oh god, Jet Run. We took care of him at least pretty fast. So there's a faster strategy. I don't know if anybody has the clip of it on hand. We did it yesterday, but you can just jump straight down here. Very risky, not worth going for yet, but there might be a day when speedruns of this game have to go for that if they want to get world record. I get it. It's not an elephant only strat. We did it yesterday without elephant. Oh, jeez. Uh. Ah! <laughs> you hate to see it. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have. Restarting was a huge mistake. Uh, I wanted to keep my bubble power up for practice, but it was a huge mistake because the checkpoint actually has another bubble power up right there. It would have been fine. Alas. Oh, 
Alas. Oh, I already have the fast running badge. Let's see, what do I need to do here to do this properly? One bubble jump here. Oh god, I just got hit. Now it's not right. We gotta practice this part. Bubble this guy, just get him out of here. Oh man. I'm upset, he's spaghetti. Would it keep my wonder seed? If I were to have died there on purpose. Would it keep the extra wonder seed? It would, right? And then I could have just got another bubble. I actually should have done that to get another bubble. If you didn't restart, you wouldn't have to do the wonder seed. Yeah, we really messed that up. I should have just kept that to, um, to keep the bubble. I'm gonna, it would be faster to just try to beat everything without bubble, but I need to learn like, I need to learn my strats, and that involves having the bubble. So, alas. Alas. One mistake is extremely costly in this. <laughs> no. Oh no, we can't make that. I thought we could make that. <laughs> it's so dead. Oh well. Why is your subtitle in French? We changed this to flower. Um, two bubbles here. One bubble here. Backshot that guy. One bubble is good there. I just have to make sure I actually land on those blocks. I'm not going to make it there. So I need to do three bubbles right there. Yeah, I need to do three bubbles right there. <laughs> Sad. Hey, young savage. Hope you're doing well. So countdown is a jet is a level that we need to practice more. Oh, I shouldn't do this with jet run. Oh no. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. Here we go. I like this level a lot. Yeah, there have been major glitches found. There is a way to... Oh my god! Close the software? What in the heck? <laughs> that was the wrong button. Uh, there's ways to skip three worlds by using two-player mode and going out of bounds on the world map. Woohoo! This 
boss fight has a pretty tough um, kind of like a phase skip in it. If you get a really early hit, he doesn't do an animation and like kind of go into another phase. It's tricky to do though. So it's it's this next one right here. If we do this hit extremely early, we save a ton of time. Oh, wow, we just very luckily got it right there. Let's go. I like the theme, too. Oh, unfortunately, atrocious world, too. Uh, Tets... Tatsumaki, thank you for the $10.42 donation. I'd love to see more of your Terraria content. No worry if it doesn't happen. It will happen. Thank you so much. A ton of people um, have have donated, so I'm just going to edit it myself. Does it seem like a game that will be speedrun by much of the community? Good question. I mean, a lot of people are speedrunning it already, but whether it has longevity or not, I don't know. But um, it seems like the game's really popular. And it seems like it has a pretty fun speedrun, too. The only downside is lots of cutscenes, but I mean it's kind of a nice break too. I don't I don't hate that there are cutscenes between each world because it's like a moment to rest. All right, we can redeem ourselves in World Three though, because last time our World Three was really bad. Yeah, it just depends on knowing the glitches to do, but I agree, having shorter categories is important too. So hopefully the glitch runs will make it more accessible to people who don't want to do a long run. So on the docket to practice is, I need to learn more backups. I'm really bad at backups, um, but definitely countdown and world, first few levels of world one and countdown, I feel like are what we really need to practice. This level um, is pretty interesting because the Wiggler, Rubber bands a lot. So you don't actually need to do the level that fast. Um, and so because of that, it's totally worth it uh, to snag. Oh God, not to do that. It's totally worth it to snag some of these purple coins. Not like that though. I timed it out, and even if I lost, um, even if I lost five seconds on the Wiggler, I only lost less than half of a second of actual time. So if I get like a 54, yeah, we're not gonna lose pretty much any time because the Wiggler just immediately shows up. Oh, it's the, wait a minute, there must be something more to it. The Wiggler didn't show up as fast. It wasn't bad, but this is the same time. I gotta compare this to my last run because it's almost the same time of 54.8, but I think the Wiggler appeared differently that time. Huh. Hard lock cafe memories, yes. I hope uh, for, um, I'm doing a glitch uh, exhibition, I guess, at uh, Awesome Games Done Quick in uh, January, and uh, that will be a time for the uh, the Wiggler Hardlock to make a new appearance.
That Wiggly Harlock was the funniest Mario Maker videos you've seen. I <laughs> I had such a good time watching everybody play it. I love rewatching those compilations. I think those are like the best. It's just like those are my favorite YouTube videos of all the YouTube videos I've ever made. Um, the compilation videos are my favorite of all of them too. Like even the ROM hack troll level compilation is so good. Of course, please just do better. Yeah, they're comfort watches. Exactly. Um, let's see. I would like to... You know what? Maybe I'll do this. Oh god, jumping here could be a mistake. The hoppy cats are waiting to get ya. This section is tricky. Oh, it would have been nicer to get up there. Alright, I have to be careful here not to get hit by the hoppy cat. That's fine. Not optimal, but fine. There we go, that was a good way to do that part. There we go. We actually did that really well. All things considered. That one was giving us a lot of trouble, but um, I spent a long time practicing it yesterday. I did it. Thank you. I believe. I think World Three can come back. Oh, yeah. Luigi loses his hat when going through five. Yeah, Fred, I love it. I love it. Uh, we should do this with parachute cap. There is a strat to do this with jet run, but and to use bubbles to make it go faster. But I haven't practiced it. How many times have you beat the game? I think only twice. <laughs> We've done a lot of learning, but putting it all together into a good run is uh, still eluding us. We need more, we need more like, we need more practice with backup strats and just like really getting a feel for things. Cause I have ideal ways of doing stuff. Oh, this level actually has a cool strat. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Skip all that. Get the early cycle on that. That was a really good stage. It's fa it is faster to drop down halfway down the flagpole right there rather than hitting the top of it. Did you hard the game? No, I didn't. I'm gonna do 100% after I finish this if I am still interested. Oh, the stats are visually satisfying when you pull them off. Yeah, I really like it. Have you set up PB? Yeah, the 223 on the screen is the, uh, on the top right of the screen is the PB. What seems to be the average time? Um, my place is like 16th out of 45 or something on the leaderboard, something like that. All right, there's a really fast track we can do here. Let's even get it. Got it. So I hit this die early, so we basically activate the Wonder Seed super early, and now we can hoppy cat through everything really fast. Dang, it's fastest to bounce on top of those guys, I think, but doing it really cleanly is still very hard for me a good bounce right there for that one you actually can't pull that jump in anymore it's like you always overshoot it and then we're gonna try to grand pound right into the pipe i'm lining it up with like a yellow diamond at the top of the screen here we go 
That was pretty good. Good level. When did the hardcore speedruns start? They already are. <laughs> like, at some point, hopefully, I will beat the game without dying. Ooh, lots of fun levels coming up. Uh, hi, Hander. Welcome. This is stress here. Oh, don't worry about it. We're gonna die horribly. You just have to accept it. It's all good. If we mess it up, it's okay. Um. So there's a really cool strat here. I jumped over it! No! Uh, worth it to restart, because I keep my bubble. Is no damage category? I mean, you can make whatever you want. That's the cool thing about, like, speedrunning, challenge runs, those sorts of things. Like, you can do whatever you want. Um, in this level, we're going to try to grab as many purple coins as we can. They, sh they certainly add up. If you do like a really good route, you can snag almost all of them. But I don't have it. I have it mostly mapped out, but not fully. I want song for set. Me too. What do you need the purple coins for? You need them to buy wonder seeds from the shop. Um, because to beat each world, you need a certain number of wonder seeds. And you have to play levels to get those wonder seeds. Or buy them with purple coins. So it saves a lot of time to collect purple coins and buy them instead. When done smoothly, this is one of my favorite levels. That wasn't smoothly. Dépêche toi. There we go. And we're already on the final level of World 3. One day there might be a skip in this level, like a bigger one. We do have a small skip already. I have to remember where to go here because I'm dumb. Sometimes go the wrong way. Alright, go up here. So it may be possible to skip this wonder flower someday. I don't know if it would be faster, but maybe. Here we're gonna skip getting the seed. I released jump a little early there, and that allows us to land just before the seed here, and we can skip it. And skipping it is good because it saves the whole animation of it playing. We don't actually need the seed because we still beat the world. The flaps as it falls are so cute. I agree. Is there any character specific jank? Yeah, we ran into a hidden Kaiser block as Luigi because each character has hidden blocks. <laughs> so you play as a different character and you're, suddenly there's blocks you didn't know that existed and you get, you get owned. <laughs> oh, we, I think we're saving time. There's no optimal character. Like, they all have the same movement properties, but it's possible that there are hidden block configurations that you like more or less. All right, there we go. 
Uh, will we be 10 seconds ahead after World 2? No, we will not. Um, let's do a prediction. Will we be ahead after World 4? Yeah, basically everything is either gold or red because I only have one run, so it's like either better than it or not. <laughs> doing now oh yeah we're doing one of my favorite levels we're gonna get the drill power up i like the drill 